So in this recording, we're going to take a look at how we can do SOD compliant provisioning. So I'm logged in as an end user. I'm going to go in and request a new role. The new role is for a service desk role. I already have the banking role. So I'm requesting additional role of a service desk uh, access. So I'm going to submit that request and the system is going to say that this access is in violation of an enterprise policy both these privileges cannot exist together that of a banking entitlement and a service desk entitlement cannot exist together but then it still gives me the ability to go and submit it i've submitted it and what's happened now is the manager receives a notification he logs into the solution and then he sees uh, all the actions that are pending uh, his action he sees that i've requested uh, access to the service desk privilege and entitlement so he goes in he takes a look at it and he sees that there's a violation uh, associated with max's request he opens it and he's able to see the violation which is basically a person who has access to the banking group cannot also have access to the uh, service desk entitlement and it's been defined by our compliance team and it also shows the risk level associated with this access but he knows that uh, Veena is moving jobs um, between departments and uh, she needs this for a specific period of time so he's going to go ahead and approve that and he's going to enter that justification for our compliance team uh, to say that uh, uh, Veena Richards is indeed moving jobs and she's going to need this access and this justification will then be made available to the compliance team who are the final approvers on any exceptions uh, that have uh, SODs associated with them. So that's been submitted and now the notification has actually been sent uh, to the compliance team and anybody who's part of the compliance team can take a look at this, uh, look at this request and then decide if they want to approve it or reject it. Mm -hmm. So employee one uh, is the user ID here. He logs into the system. So he goes in and he sees that uh, there are actions that are pending for him uh, with some violations there. And uh, that one is the one from Vina, which we just raised uh, the request for. And when you go in, he will look at who the person is, who the individual is, what is a specific uh, rule or SOD policy that's being violated. And uh, also be able to see more details about who this person is, where they're located, um, who the person's manager is, and so on.